From the visit of a commander-in-chief to thin mints and peanut butter patties sold outside a pot shop and racist chants at a basketball game, you had a few things to say on the hotline. The week started off with a presidential visit, which prompted calls like this one from Joyce in Williamsburg. Do you really think this is breaking news that President Trump is arriving somewhere? We pay for these stations. Please quit doing this in our programming. In the words of our news director, Chip Mahaney, who responded to a viewer with similar thoughts, when a president comes to our area, we will provide start-to-finish coverage. That's our normal procedure, and today, we were happy to provide that exclusive local news service. We did get this email from Kathy Murphy in Fort Thomas, which read, Thank you very much for all the great Trump coverage on TV today. Racism reared its head this week after video showing racially charged chants at a basketball game between St. X and Elder caused officials to stop the game. And hopefully they can work out their differences. I think that all of the racial divide is starting from the top, from the president on down. Hopefully this country can come together as one, unite as one. The parents are talking about this in their homes, and this is the way they're speaking, and the children are taking this to school, chanting those racial slurs to hurt someone. There need to be consequences, and these children need to be taught there is consequences for your actions. Both schools are addressing the issue, and students involved were disciplined. Girl Scout cookies made headlines this week, not for their taste, but for where they were being sold, outside a marijuana dispensary. Smart little girl, wear better to sell them. I think that's ingenuity. People are very sensitive these days and need to lighten up. And absolutely, those Girl Scouts should be able to sell those cookies wherever they want, including a pot shop. Have a good night. Namaste. Gary in Cincinnati wasn't as proud of the scouting entrepreneurs. I think that's really, really wrong. That sends the wrong message. And as a parent, I would not want my kids doing that. And I think the Girl Scouts need to look at that. In the end, there were far more calls cheering on the girls. I think it's a good idea. As long as their parents are, are sitting there with them, because people who smoke marijuana do get hungry, and they do like to eat snacks, so that is a perfect place really for the Girl Scouts to sit. Heck, yeah, Girl Scouts ought to be able to sell cookies next to marijuana dispensaries. That's a service that's been needed for a long time. Go, Girl Scouts, go. By the way, they sold 300 boxes outside that pot shop. No word if Girl Scouts here in Ohio will do the same when medical marijuana dispensaries start opening up here. By the way, if you ever have feedback about a story you see on 9 on your side, call the hotline, 513-852-4998.